Rumble Returns. Gift code hides in the video. New Lieutenant Event. Let's go! Hi Generals! Are you ready for a war you won't believe with Update 47? Wait, before we start, everyone must know that we've hidden a gift code somewhere in the video. Mm, find it and redeem it via the link in the description. Then log in to your WPO account to check out your rewards. By the way, on the redeem page, you have to type your Game of Player ID, which you can find in the About section of the settings. You can click the question mark here if you want a step-by-step -step explanation on how to find your ID or pause the video and check out the steps. Okay, enough distractions. Let's get back to the review. Because John Rambo is here. That's right, the hero from the legendary Rambo First Blood movie is back in WPO to bring even more action. We start our journey with the new Rambo Lieutenant. Hold on, let's begin with the two epic chain events. You can see the start and end dates of both events on the screen. Firstly, you will be a part of the Welcome to Hope action. Followed by the action-packed First Blood Chain. At the start of the first event, we will gift everyone 10 shards so you can unlock the epic Rambo Lieutenant at level 1 for free. Both parts of the Rambo chains will be full of epic events. They will award you with shards which you can use to upgrade your Lieutenant. It's crucial to know that you can unlock and upgrade your Lieutenant only during the festive period. After the last event of the second chain is over, you will no longer be able to upgrade or level up your hero, so be sure to make him as strong as possible. Let's check out the strengths of Lieutenant Rumble. For those who don't remember, the Lieutenants are game-changing new characters you attach to your commander convoys and army presets. If you want to know more about them, check out this video. Now, back to the Rambo Lieutenant. Once you have him, he's yours forever. But after the festive events are over, you can't upgrade him further. So make sure you collect enough Rambo Lieutenant shards so you take the most advantage of him. And here's why. Besides the fact that he's Rambo, of course, firstly, he has two unique special skills. You can see their stats on the screen. The first one is Charging Egos. You get it when you unlock the Lieutenant himself. With it, initially the aerial units have a 40% chance to fire at an additional target for a 50% of the unit's damage. The chance increases to 100% and the damage to 250 when the skill is fully maxed. The second skill is called Fire Imbuement. It unlocks when you upgrade your Lieutenant to Epic Rank. The skill gives a 35% chance for aerial units to deal 60% base damage over time to an enemy stack for the next two turns. When it is maxed out, the chance increases to 50%, the damage to 90% and the effect lasts for the next three turns. The Rumble Lieutenant will also have two additional sets of eye-catching stats. The baseline bonuses enhance unit damage and unit health increasing with each new lieutenant level. The specialization ones are passive bonuses connected to the skill tree of Rumble. The tree has many powerful skills alongside its branches that improve the specific unit type of the lieutenant. And because John Rambo is an aerial specialist, all his specialization bonuses affect the aerial units. Let me remind you that to unlock bonuses on the tree, you would need skill points. You earn them by upgrading your lieutenant's sub ranks. Click on the video here to learn more. Let's go back to the festivities. Alongside the Rambo chain events, you can join our explosive minigame. Find the grenades spread on the world map and send the commander to gather them. Each one contains a chest hiding the grenade's confidence clips. Get as many as possible, visit the exclusive Rambo trader and exchange them for extra festive goodies. Rambo will also bring some time-limited cosmetic items which you can get only during the festive period. Like this stunning avatar of John Rambo. Or the avatar of Lieutenant Lady Winter. Or you might prefer to steal the show with the avatar of the Marauders Renegade Boss. You can get these epic emojis led by Rambo's bandana. How about some new base decorations? 
or this crimson avatar frame. Speaking of crimson, are you ready for the rest of the features in the update? I bloody am. Let's look at the Hunter defensive gear set and how it will boost your stats. I'm hooked. We start with the Huntsman vest. This item is an armor upgrade and it boosts the HP of all units with its two set bonuses. Its random properties come from the offensive and defensive bonus pools. And every Huntsman needs a bow. This weapon system enhances the commander's damage with its set bonuses. Its random properties provide additional commander bonus plus two offensive ones. The third piece is another weapon system. The Blaze Fury gives bonus damage to all units with its first two bonuses, combined with offensive and defensive random properties. Last but not least, the transmitter boosts the health of your commander as its first set bonus and the HP of your units as the second one. This is mixed with a stellar combination of bonuses from the commander offensive and defensive pools. While we are on the defensive topic, we must not forget the new skin for the defensive commander. Gunslinger Trasher is a keeper. He will also increase your repair capacity. What should we end the video with? The Lieutenant Recruitment Event. Sure. In this new event, the more you recruit, the more you get. Every recruit chart you use will give you points, which will help you go higher on the leaderboard and earn the best rewards. You can try the new event on the first day of Welcome to Hope Chain. Follow our social media channels via the links in the description for the full schedule of the festive event. Before we go, don't forget to go through the video and find the hidden gift code if you still haven't. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new videos. We'll see you in the next one, generals. <laughs>